What's up, Sagittarius friends? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. Uh, happy holidays, happy new year. I hope this video finds you well. Um, we are here to do your January monthly general tarot messages. This is going to be roughly for the month of January, give or take. Um, as always with these YouTube messages, they are general. That means not everything I say will resonate with all the Sagittarians out there. So I always encourage you guys to come into this with an open heart and an open mind. Ultimately, it is up to you to um, determine what messages are meant for you for your best and highest good and to drop everything else that doesn't seem to serve you or fit your circumstance or scenario. Oh, wow. You got good cards here. Um, lost my train of thought because I was so excited about your cards. What else do I need to tell you? Oh, sometimes messages will resonate in a few hours, in a few days, in a few weeks. So be open to receiving these messages, not just here and now, but in a, in a few days, in a few weeks, however that works for you. Uh, everything else is written in the description box below, including my social media, as well as the decks I'm using today. I'm the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, check those out if you are interested. Drop a like, share, subscribe, wherever you can. That really helps me a lot. As always, mad love for the Saggies. Let's get going on your readings for Sagittarius, roughly for the month of January. Wow, you have a lot. Okay, this card wanted to be seen, but I'm not going to take it. The star. So a card of Aquarius, if that means anything to anyone out there. This could be a timestamp, actually. That's sort of what I got almost instantly. So happy belated birthday, by the way, to all the Sagittarians. We are in Capricorn season now, headed into Aquarius season. So yeah, something big might be happening in Aquarius season. Um, so yeah, hell yeah, that's a powerful message. So, and I mean, it would be something good with the star, having hope, having um, faith in, in something greater, uh, listening to spirituality or, you know, the universe, that, that your dreams are being recognized and coming true. This is the major arcana version of like the nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. So whatever it is you've, I will say, been working on, that's so important in Capricorn season, we have to do the work, the building, right? Whatever you've been working your way towards and building, there's still a, I just heard like a hope and a prayer. There's still a prayer that this could come to fruition. There's still a prayer that this could happen. Uh, and, and it's not only that, there's something greater driving a lot of my Sagittarians out there. And it's like, yeah, it's in alignment with your wishes, your dreams coming true. Hang in there. And especially those who are still healing, this can be a card of healing, needing to ground yourself one foot in the earth and one in like the pool of intuition and also dreams, right? The subconscious listening to your intuition. This is a beautiful card. And yeah, what what's amazing energy. Bottom of your deck is the magician stepping into your power, commanding the room, making some sort of important announcement or or creating the life of your dreams. Uh, yeah, for those who have been kind of going through some sort of difficult time or just wrapping up a, diff a difficult cycle, the new year, it's like magic. You're, you're stepping into your power, Virgo and Gemini energy. And as I said, Aquarian energy, something about this keeps speaking to me about a timestamp. Something is going to happen in Aquarius season. I'm not saying all your dreams are coming true, but significant, significant change or something that brings you hope, that restores your hope. It, yeah, it, it, that's trying to come into you in Aquarius season. I mean, we're, uh, you know, we're kind of in the early stages of Capricorn season, but make sure you're doing the work, especially the internal work. Manifesting is going to be huge for you and being in touch with your intuition. Oh my God, you have badass cards. Good Lord, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, the Empress, Taurus, and... Um, Oh dear, Taurus and Libra, <laughs> I almost lost it there. The Empress, creating the empire, building a family, the card of motherhood, pregnancy for, for some, not for everybody. Also a card of motherhood. We have Cancer is like the mother of the Zodiac, could also be Scorpio or Pisces. Um, yeah, very, very feminine, feminine energy, really beautiful. Something about the Cancer full moon that, that is coming up, I think it's January, ooh, don't quote me, I think it's January 10th. That's when you're going to want to do some major manifestation about your wishes, your dreams, your goals, your future. Yeah, with the magician, taking all the aces, taking all the tools on our table and creating, uh, manifesting what it is that we want, bringing it in, into, into the 3D, into reality, so that it doesn't just like exist in our head space. It doesn't just exist as a dream. Again, doing the work to create it with the Empress to build it, right? She is, she is Mother Earth. She is creation incarnate. So... Wow, Sagittarius, some heavy messages coming through for you. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. It's pretty, pretty gnarly. All right, so let's hop into your actual reading because now that we're four minutes in. All right, Page of Swords, the seeking of information, a card of being um, a student. Sometimes it's a child, sometimes a messenger with swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Information, communication. 
And the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so there's that Capricorn lady. I always call this the Capricorn mama. Uh, it's Tor Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It's Earth energy, the Queen of Pentacles. So this is the queen of, I heard body for you guys. So rebuilding your body, again, restoring your health for a lot of you. Um, also the queen of money, of, of earthly, tangible things you can reach out and touch in the 3D. Um, <clears throat> So it may have to do with getting information or collecting information on how to improve your finances. It could be communicating between like child and mother. Uh, if, yeah, bridging a gap between child and mother or relaying some sort of message, even if it's not a reunion or a reconciliation, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be anything huge. I'm only reading for roughly a month, but yeah, communicating with your mother about something or a maternal figure may have to do with finances or health. Or, or if you had like an ailing mother going to visit them, something of that nature. So, and some of you are, especially in the new year, that kind of makes sense. New year, new me, as they say. Some of you are reading up on how to improve your body, your physical health, uh, doing like diet regimens or, or exercising more, but, you know, building up muscle, doing keto diets, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Sorry guys, camera froze. So yeah, some of you are reading up on how to improve your health or your finances. Some of you may be going back to school and investing a great sum of money to, you know, it, you know, further your education, particularly in the realm of finances or it could be something like marketing, but yeah, like crunching numbers. Uh, yeah, interesting. All right, so <clears throat> what's going on in your subconscious? All right, so the six of earth, reciprocity, uh, a balance, equal giving and take, um, restoring the like the scales of, of justice. I, I heard truth, though, as well. I do think like it, it, it is a general message, so I apologize for the vagueness, but it's restoring balance within yourself with all this pentacle energy and the, this card, the star of healing. <clears throat> it's restoring your own inner balance and health. <clears throat> Let's clarify that. <clears throat> yeah, getting something about your confidence and your courage back. How Stella got her groove back, I just heard. <laughs> Maybe that name means something to someone out there. Stella, that's a cute name. <clears throat> your subconscious, Sagittarius, six of, I almost said six of reciprocity, six of pentacles. Oh, paying back what is due. Okay, some of you may owe a lump sum of money to someone, particularly your mother or a maternal figure. It could even be something like a professor, somebody who helped get you through school or or you squeaked by on like a favor. You're wanting to pay it back or pay it forward or reach out to the person who helped you, but you haven't quite been able to do it yet, right? And it, because it exists in your subconscious, interesting, with, with the scales, it's like it's weighing heavily on you to, I, I just want to say, pay it back. It doesn't have to be literal money. It could be, again, paying back of a favor, paying back of, of generosity, of kindness. Could also be doing some, um, some sort of like um, social work, giving back to the community, volunteering. If you're still trying to figure out the career of your dreams, it may actually have to do with like giving back to society. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's going to mean something different to everybody. But yeah, for those who are trying to figure out like their long term career goals, it may have to do again, general helping people in some capacity that is coming up in your subconscious. Because there's going to be something validating for you about that. It's, you're going to feel good at the end of the day. You're going to feel like your life has a purpose you're, you're doing you know your life's purpose your life's work clarify the six of pentacles for sagittarius clarify the six of pentacles for sagittarius six of pentacles for sag the high priestess okay so you got the subconscious card in your subconscious that's helpful i'm <laughs> just kidding so another card of cancer you have two cards of cancer this may involve again a, a mother figure or I do keep wanting to say something about the Cancer full moon. Again, early January, I want to say January 10 or 11. Some sort of important work may be done on that day. Maybe you're applying to a school or applying to a job. Maybe that's when you pay back that person again in, in money and in, in whatever favor they did for you, however they had your back. Rebalancing the scales and again, internal balance with the moon Something about a balance of emotions. 
light work, something I heard water work. I don't know what that means, but something about working with uh, maybe people's emotions, uh, like uh, emotional therapy, water work. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's like the name of somebody's company or something. Water work. That I don't know why I keep hearing that, but um, hold on. Let me let me look at this. <clears throat> Yeah, there's something you've been dreaming about doing and it does have to do with reaching out to someone you want to help or again or i hate to use settle the score because that sounds malicious but restore the balance in a in a relationship that doesn't have to mean romantic though it could or or like some sort of family dynamic it's something you want to make solid again it's something you want to uh, make grounded again so that there's potential for this to take off and become more powerful yeah for some of you it's a business with the empress and again giving back to the community giving back to society potentially working with children I, I hate to use this as a cop-out, but something about this is saying to me, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I mean, the, I, I do say that in any tarot reading, when the high priestess comes up, it's saying, you already know. So, and, and this is very vague for me because in the subconscious, I'm getting the card of what's in your subconscious. The high priestess is the silent woman, the one who channels messages from the universe, from spirit. It's sometimes a secret. I am just getting bringing it to light, bringing the secret out in the open or making right what is something that's going to pacify your mind or pacify your emotions. It's about giving back. That's just what I keep getting. I'm going to pull one of these on it, but yeah, it's going to be different for everyone. Uh, giving back to a Taurus or a Cancer. Yeah, absolutely. Giving back to a Taurus or a Cancer. That's going to be for a lot of you or a Capricorn. <clears throat> Or maybe forming a business partnership with one of those people. Um, restoring, yeah, like a healthy relationship with someone like that. The house, yeah, I keep getting family dynamics. And again, cancer rules the house and the home. The empress is the card of the mother. <laughs> this, this, I have a lot of mother cards, but maternal energy, again, the wife card. Um, the, the cancer rules the house and the home. It's maternal energy. It's the moon. You have the high priestess. For a lot of you, there's a, like, for lack of a better term, mommy issues. Um, and so that could even mean those trying to get pregnant. Um, there, it could be something like that. <clears throat> giving back to the home, giving back to the community, restoring balance in the home, in the house. It, it could be some sort of business that is like a substitute home. So like foster care or or even, you know, in the, in the realm of like hotels or rental properties or something that feels like a home dynamic, giving back in some sort of capacity there. All right. I'm grasping at straws, but I, I think you guys sort of will. You'll, you'll either know what this means or you won't. It might not be everybody's message. Right. So interesting. So let's see. In your past, two came out. Ace of Swords and the eight of wands i don't know why i stumbled on that bomb cards whole holy effing you know what that's awesome communication um so the ace of swords a new beginning gemini libra aquarius thoughts ideas um communications epiphany is what i frequently get it's like some new thought set you off down this path and there was like rapid and forward movement swift action taken it's one of your cards sagittarius and i always think it's like the the arrows that you shoot from your archer's bow right so moving and gliding swiftly through the air this can be travel um for for a lot of people but some new idea some new truth that like um got you up off your ass and like really like lit a fire under you to go chase this to go do this and i do want to say this dream to go chase this thing that you've always wanted to do, to communicate with Mercury energy, right? Gemini, Virgo energy. Something that you've wanted to communicate or say or establish, right? Uh, re Rebalance, um, reorder. Something in, in, in relationship to restoring health and peace, prosperity. <laughs> Some sort of epiphany or idea occurred to you that lit a fire under you that's, that's thrusting or, or moving you forward throttle i heard 
So maybe it has to do with like, I don't know, <laughs> airplanes, jet engines, I don't know, throttle, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming up. Um, you know, it's the past, so I don't like to linger too much on it, but something sets you off on like a new mission. Um, and this could be your very recent past. I mean, this could be literally you watching this video now and being like, ah, epiphany. <clears throat> a st fighting for what you believe in, fighting for a truth, some sort of decision making that is, again, something about it's like establishing order and peace, stepping into your power, accepting the, accepting like this very important position of being like the peacemaker. Very interesting. For some of you, I don't know why this is coming through, but the idea that there may be a different way to conceive or a different way to, if it's not communicate with your mother, become a mother. I don't know if you are researching about motherhood or like, I don't know, like in vitro fertilization or, or something like that. Some sort of information that, I mean, clearly you've been seeking, right? This is the card of, of seeking information, a student, spying even, right? You discovered some sort of truth that set you off because you didn't want to miss an opportunity. You knew it was time to act on this. All right. Anyway, uh, what are your goals or desires? The three of cups. Okay, so a reconciliation, a reunion, a celebration, having fun, emotions, sharing your emotions and cups with, with those around you. Uh, again, restoring balance in some sort of relationship. Maybe it's with your mother. Maybe it's with a family member. Maybe it's with a ex-romantic partner. Maybe it's with a coworker you want to go back into business with. Very much feminine energy, though. <clears throat> Somebody you used to live with, a suite mate, an apartment mate, a flat mate, whatever you guys call it. Happiness is what's in your goals and desires. Go out and paint the town red. Get, get the group of girls together, the group of guys together, and yeah, go out and have some fun. This can be like social socialization, happy hour. Cool. Clarify the three of cups for Sagittarius. Three of cups for Sagittarius. The two of wands. <clears throat> yeah, a difficult decision of leaving the comfort zone, of going down a new path, of it may not be starting anew but going down a path that requires significant action or change or movement or travel even versus just dreaming about it just thinking about it how we were saying this is like the dream of one day it could be so great this is actually like connecting with the energy to create it the master manifester right the magician using your magic there's an indecision here or a crossroads of do I go after it? Do I stay inside where it's safe and I know? Or do I go after the world? Do I go travel? Do I go out on this mission to do whatever it is that I feel I'm meant to do with my life? This feels very heavy. Like you guys suddenly have an epiphany about completely changing direction in your career. It's something like that. I think you know <clears throat> that staying in the comfort zone Sagittarius isn't going to bring you the joy you want and so you're you're like in between that it's funny it's, it's like you're in between moving forward on that action that you know is necessary but I mean if it's in your goals you think it's going to bring you some sort of joy and happiness and I mean I think it will too I mean just the depictions of these cards alone and I mean, Sagittarians, you don't thrive in the comfort zone. You're the Knight of Wands. You live to experience new things, to feel and desire, you know, the fun, the, the fruits of life, right? So what's keeping you stuck? What's keeping you trapped? For some of you, this feels like a, a career or a job that isn't offering you happiness anymore. Maybe it's paying the bills. Maybe it's allowing you to pay rent. Maybe it's allowing you to pay back the person that you owe. Stepping outside the comfort zone of what you've always known. Again, travel for some of you. Speaking an important truth to someone. Communicating with maybe a group of people. This could even be like spreading the word of God, right? For those who are, you know, religious or have some sort of spiritual connection. <clears throat> Desiring socialization. Getting back on the dating scene. 
any any of those could be you know falling in line with your goals <coughs> throw one of these on it all right anything else we need to know about this what is two of wands for Sagittarius clarify two of wands there's a whole world out there for you to go experience and see but you've been limiting yourself to like a small radius or a small area, a small group of people. There's more people in your soul tribe to be discovered. There's more partnership. There's more relationships. There's more joy to be experienced in, in group settings. <clears throat> the tower. So yeah, maybe in the past you took some sort of risk and, and you got burned. Maybe in the past somebody really hurt you or you took some sort of leap of faith and it ended up like costing you dearly. Maybe finances were impacted. Maybe your your physical body, maybe you broke a bone or, you know what I mean? Maybe you, you were on the mend, clearly. And I mean, that came out first and foremost with the star. I said healing, recuperating. What you're turned away from is the tower. So I either take that to mean that a tower occurred in your past and really shook you to the core and incited a lot of fear in you to leave the house, to leave your parents, to leave the comfort zone, to, to go off on the adventure you wanted to, to share your gifts and talents with the world, you're, you're playing it safe, Sagittarius. Like, again, there's a whole world out there, but it's almost like you've been stuck in the tower. And that actually makes sense in, in, um, in Capricorn season. It's like the, the, the devil. The devil kept you stuck. And maybe it has to do with a parent or, or a Capricorn or a relationship in your life. The Capricorn kept you stuck. That's not for everybody. <clears throat> you may have strong Capricorn in your chart, particularly your Mars. I don't know why that came through, but your Mars in Capricorn for anybody who relates to that. You're trying to avoid getting burned again or avoid a tower moment. That I'm not even going to say it's inevitable because I think you're you're not seeing the potential of how happy this major change is going to make you. Some of you may have been caring for like an ailing parent or or somebody in your life who just needed you as a support system, but it's taking a toll on your heart. There, I'm just getting it's lifeless. There's no joy in this anymore. You're, it's like you're Rapunzel being kept out in your tower. And again, something about a, a domineering mother figure, you know, Rapunzel let down your hair. It, the idea of like the night coming to save you. And I'm, I'm saying this in metaphor. It, it, like it's time for you to escape the tower. It's time for you to go off and do something yourself. And, and that's when the star comes in. That's when your hope is restored, right? The tower comes down and it, it burns. It's an uncomfortable energy, right? It feels like your life is just, it's like a shit storm, right? I think most of you already went through this and you're in this energy of healing from it. But because of that, you're not taking risks. You're like internally con conflicted on how to move forward and mentally conflicted. You have two fives. Yeah, overwhelmed by how to move forward with the decisions. <sighs> Interesting. Something in the past occurred that you have un, unreconciled or unresolved feelings about. And you're so overwhelmed by the emotions that come up when you think about that, that past thing. Somebody who hurt you, somebody who burned you, or vice versa. Somebody you have weird feelings about that, you know, I shouldn't have done this or I shouldn't have said that. There's, there's something about this brings up a, a, a flood of emotions and you're not sure how to handle these emotions. That's what I mean. And so it's easier just to stay and think about it and dream about what you would say versus actually taking action to go and do it and repair the relationship, restore the harmony, bring your cup together, you, meet a new person, right? Put Leave the past in the past and then pursue something with clarity, right? Manifest something new, something greater that really excites you, that that trigger. Some, this Knight of Swords directly has to do with this. And what's funny is this happened in the past. So did you start to move on it and then stop? You know, maybe you went on vacation for the holidays. It's like getting the energy back to move forward on this. Whatever you're moving towards, 
there's joy and love here. There's partnership at minimum. Could be business partnership. Could be a romantic partnership. Again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You have a lot of, of heavy Cancer cards. There's a victory there. There's success there. There's something to be uh, proud of. There's something to be accomplished by you moving towards this. I do want to say person for a lot of you. Again, career, family, romantic. Moving towards someone that maybe you're spying on a Capricorn. Maybe you're trying to get information from them on, on what they're doing or what's up. And I think you do. Whatever you're trying to get information on. And this, this could be multiple messages about career and love. You understand some sort of truth. There's some sort of epiphany or clarity that makes you want to move on it. And yet you're not. <clears throat> But if you were to do it, I, I just, this is a great card. There really isn't a lot of, a lot of negativity there. Something about you don't want to be one in a million. You want to be the one. So maybe you're, you're wanting someone to choose you, Sagittarius. Maybe you're not wanting to be like in the friend zone. That's sort of what this is to me because it's groups of people celebrating you want to charge in and, and, and make the biggest bang for your buck, or you want to charge in and be metaphorically the only one in the room. You want it to be a two of cups. I don't think you want to be in a three of cups situation, if that makes sense. Maybe some of you are, are have like an awkward relationship with like your siblings in terms of like, oh, well, they're the favorite child or something, something like that. You want to be seen individually. You want to be seen as the one. You want it to be very very clear you want to come in with a bang you want to command the attention of the room you want to command this person's attention and maybe this all has to do with a, a, like a business endeavor right maybe you're you're selling something and you're pitching your idea of you know this really great luxury hotel you want to build right do you know what i'm saying it's, it's going to be a little bit different but yeah you don't want there to be any shades of gray you don't want there to be any wiggle room you want these cups to match and 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 match instantly you want it to be i heard kinetic so something about energy, you want this partnership to succeed and take off with flying colors. Flying colors, take off. Yeah, interesting. There's victory here, particularly with a Virgo, for those who are dealing with a Virgo. But yeah, I think your goal is to leave the comfort zone and get some fun back into your life. That, that's what this feels like. All right, so what is potentially coming into your future, Sagittarius? Ooh, I don't love that. All right, heartbreak. Disappointment, um, sadness, three of swords. Uh, it's a card of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's clarify it. Why is this coming through for Sagittarius in their near future? For a lot of you, it's if you choose not to move forward with this. You're going, oh, it's regret. I'm sorry. Okay, that's what this is. It's regret. So again, for some of you, there's something about regrets of the past. inner conflict of not okay not speaking your truth about something when you needed to yeah it's like you have a lot to say here but maybe you you were you restrained yourself you held it back you didn't say what what was needed to be said and maybe it's like you're trying to course correct but something about yeah it's like the overwhelmed feeling or the illusion that you could still make it right it, it eats away at you. And so you, a lot of you, not everyone, you choose to stay in your tower. But with that, there's the illusion that your tower is safe, that it, it, it's your place of refuge. It's your home. It's not. The tower is not your home. The tower is you being stuck. It comes right after the devil. So again, it comes in sweet. It feels right. It feels safe. It feels like, you know, you're sheltered because you, you don't ever have to take a risk, right? It's like you're trying to avoid maybe an awkward moment or hurting someone else's feelings or just an awkward situation, mending of the heart. That's what this could be. But you're just dreaming of it. Both of these are cards of dreaming. It's great that you're doing the emotional, like internal work on yourself. Again, your health, your body. Hell yeah, Sagittarius. That's important. But it's like you're not seeing the full picture. You're just seeing it from your window. And even the way I'm positioning these cards, you're dreaming of all the possibilities, potentially with an Aquarius, but you're not going after to do it, or you're not going after to chase it. Even something about a unique and innovative idea, 
if that's what this stands for, potentially getting it off the ground in Aquarius season, communicating this. And again, if this doesn't have to do with partnership, it has to do with, where's my six of pentacles? Giving back to the community, showing love, um, caring for those around. Uh, yeah, something about taking care of like foster foster kids, foster children, um, rec reciprocity, building back, giving back to the community, volunteer work, sharing your cup, sharing your love, sharing your, your again, your nurturing mama vibes. Maybe this is all you. I have three cards of motherhood here. So that's got to mean something to someone out there. What are you dreaming about but not acting on? If you were to act on it, there are no mistakes, right? Everything we, we do, it, it's a lesson, right? It's an important lesson we learn in our spiritual path. Because there's so much conflict and disarray in the idea of leaving the comfort zone, you know, go, getting out of the tower, because you know getting out of the tower it may hurt a little bit. It, it may involve some sort of risk that makes you feel really uncomfortable or nervous or scared. There's almost an assurance of victory here, and I say it because of these two cards. The Six of Wands is victory, pride, you marching through the parade and everybody following you, you being a leader. <clears throat> knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the deck, but almost a guaranteed success, almost, right? He will get the job done because he's all about the thinking, the details, the planning. The devil is in the details. Escaping the devil. And devil is a card of Capricorn. Heavy Capricorn vibes in this reading, as well as cancer. <clears throat> start the journey now. Start the travel now. Start the project now. Start that communication now. This epiphany, even if you can't get it up and off the ground as fast as you would like, it's worth making strides to get there in some way, to start manifesting it now. Because if you do, it does seem like in Aquarius season, uh, there, there will be some sort of significant change or shift or movement. And then things are going to take off like a bat out of hell. Then it's going to be like a lot. <laughs> um, okay, I do want to clarify this Three of Swords. I'm, yeah, I'm getting regret from it. If you don't do it now, you're always going to look back and wish you had. So even if it, that's just offering an apology, even if it's, um, you know, a small little thing, you know, telling the truth on something you lied about and it's been eating away at you, avoiding it, it's going to eat away at you as well. <laughs> it's, it's weighing heavily on your mind to the point where it's imbalanced thoughts. And we know you want that balance back, right? The scales are right there. Again, Libra. Maybe maybe this involves a Libra for some of you. Maybe your, your mom is a Libra. Maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend is a Libra. Maybe you want to work in like the, the judicial system or be a judge or, yeah, something about uh, restore the fairness, restore the balance. You may have very strong Libra in your chart. You may have a moon in Libra. The four of wands. Okay. <clears throat> so the soulmate card for some of you getting that magic back getting that chemistry back i will say just in a relationship i don't even want to throw romance on it it could be for some aries Le or yeah aries leo sagittarius with wands restoring the foundation restoring the balance because i was saying regret there's regret of like making this relationship work or <clears throat> Even business partnership, there's regret not going after your dreams. Whatever motivates you and inspires you. Again, something about safety, like a refuge, a home, like security. Something about that, who you want to build a business with or a home. Particularly something in the arts, particularly something in music. If you don't go after it, you might regret it. Something about playing at a music festival with this card. I know that's not going to be for most of you, but it's for one or two of you out there. Take the risk, right? Instead of dreaming about it, go out, go out and make it happen. <clears throat> Practically, right? In practicality, in a practical way. Start building it now so that in the future, your wishes can come true. It's like you're too overwhelmed to even start. Start somewhere. Start small. Start with the one idea and build from there. All right. Advice or guidance. Six of cups and ten of pentacles. Interesting. So this can be a card of childhood going back to the past, restoring something with your family, uh, restoring, um, 
it could be money, uh, legacy, um, generational things, uh, loyalty to to a person you care greatly about. It's a card of Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Going back to what brought you happiness in your youth, something very innocent. Before this, this relationship or this situation got so complicated, looking at the happy times and building upon them long term. <clears throat> Guidance or advice for Sagittarius. There's some sort of idea in the past that you could capitalize on. Something you cared about in the past or someone you cared about in the past. There's potential for long-term and longevity there. But again, going after it. Motivating yourself to go do it, to go chase it. Rescue. Help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. Absolutely. That's what I was getting with this. You, you coming to someone's rescue in more ways than you know. Like I heard Earth Angel, the idea that you, you were put on this planet to do something pretty incredible, Sagittarius, especially with this card coming up, like the star. You were meant to shine. You serve a very important purpose, taking care of the land, uh, especially with, with the Empress. Giving back to society, but get, also like something about giving back to nature the growth, uh, the thriving of like our planet, uh, like humanity, like, heavy hitting cards. Um, yeah, you have, you have some badass cards. A lot of female energy. <clears throat> you have two queens too, so maybe you're, uh, if there was a third party situation, maybe you're deciding between uh, an earth sign and a water sign. It doesn't have to be. Listen, the secrets of the sea become apparent when we listen to the sounds within the shell. Well, that is so Cancerian, I can't even. I just can't even. This is all about following your, your intuition and listening to messages from source. If your cup is closed off, if your ability to enjoy life, right? Seek out avenues of joy and fun. If you've closed off your cup, if you have resigned yourself to this life of solitude up in your tower, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities. Make sure you're, you're in touch with your star player, pun intended. Where's my star? Universe, spirit guides, angels, you know, whatever you believe in. There's important messages trying to be communicated to you. Go within, meditate. That's going to be really important. <clears throat> and that's what this is. If This is showing up in your past, but if this hasn't happened yet, there's going to be some sort of idea that is like a trigger, like something like the shooting of a gun. It is going to launch you like a rocket. You are going to take off with an absolute truth that you need to share with the world, right? Or share with your person, right? To to restore some sort of some, some sort of justice or harmony in this relationship. All right, Sagittarius, what a heavy message. Uh, happy January, happy 2020. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot.